what we're going to do is we're going to um, have some old CSMs on here, some new CSMs, and get, catch some uh, reactions to the results that were just announced on the CCP um, Twitch stream. And it looks like we have Angry Mustache here, current CSM. We have Darkshine, current CSM. We have Dujak One Eye. Uh, congratulations, Dujak, on making CSM 19. We have Kazanier, who's going to be returning from CSM 18 to CSM 19. We've got Luke and uh, then uh, from Frat, who's also going to be returning from CSM 18 to 19. And uh, congratulations, Mick Fightmaster on uh, making it newly to CSM 19. Um, con congrats uh, to, to, to those new and uh, um, Dark Shines and Angry were, were, were very sad to see you go, but uh, you're, you're, free, you're free at last. Uh, at least from from the day to day activities, uh, another four years on NDA uh, for you, unfortunately. Or or is it or is it five? Is it's four from now, right? So it's five um, years from the end. Yeah. From the end. Oh God. Okay. Well. Anyway, um, I uh, want to maybe start to uh, with with getting your reactions on uh, on today's results. It was a very very close uh, race. I was uh, sweating um, profusely because uh, it was uh, very close for me among other things <laughs> I, I i i left the top 10 uh, quick and quickly came came back in uh, but there was some some other very very uh, interesting things happening so uh, because luke uh, i've already chatted to you uh, since this happens maybe passing on to you luke what uh, your your initial thoughts on csm19 results so i mean the lot the, the people that were kind of got through with the people i kind of thought would get through what was kind of surprising was a lot of the first round preferences were not as high as i expected in different places so it kind of created an odd sequence of elections that i wasn't quite expecting at least in my predictions yeah um, yeah for sure i was surprised I see to see right. to see kashal and mike azariah uh, drop out which um uh, honestly, as a candidate who picked up a lot of votes from them, I'm very grateful for their transferred votes. But uh, both of them crashing out is um, is absolutely surprising. Uh, you know, and and uh, CCP not picking either either of them for for the next round. Um, let me see, uh, Angry. What are your thoughts on that? So I think um, the big surprise to most of us this year is the uh, turnout reduction because. Um, Last year was the highest turnout ever at 47k, and you saw the first round uh, barrier was 42,000. Let me check the exact ballot one second. I haven't looked at the, the, the yeah, number so of ballots. Yeah, so last cast. year the, the quota was 42,87 for first round. This year it was 33,000. Well, I can't be sure because I can't, I, I forgot, I forgot to take screenshots during the thing, but it shows that the turnout was down around like 30% compared to last year. Uh, that's what we weren't expecting. Well, well, maybe we were because the player count is also lower this year and they held the uh, election at a, at a later period. Still surprising but, though. Yeah. Maybe yeah. There, there, there I was wasn't... surprised the turnout was down this much. So, so I was quite surprised. Like la last year, I kind of kind of think it's a bit of an outlier because it was so much higher, right? Like if you compare to like seventeen, I think this is. I think this was fairly similar to the seventeen CSM seventeen turnout from memory. I think that was about 36, 3600 entry quota. What I was a little bit, I, I thought it would be a bit higher because obviously you know, Kaz, Angry, you guys have got big move ops at the moment, right? I thought there'd be a huge block of additionally subbed pilots that would push yeah. that up a little bit. But it didn't push it as much as as I expected, at least. Right. So, like the the public vote was a lot weaker this year compared to the block vote, which is why Kashal and uh, Mike didn't make it because they really relied on the public vote, especially Mike boosting them over the edge. Do you think there was any risk, kind of? I'm going to call it wormhole syndrome. That you've got two reasonably strong uh, nouveau candidates that would possibly fight. No, because when we look at the transfers, they cross transfer to each other very strongly. At least that's what it looked like. We don't have the ballot, so we don't know for sure. Um, CCP said they're not going to be. They're probably not going to be get, able to get it up before the. Um, so yeah. I, I, don't yeah. know, I think it's a bit disappointing they didn't release the uh, ballot in the announcement post. 
yeah, we'll have we'll have plenty of time to uh, to analyze that though. Ka Kazanier, um, over over seven, not quite over nine thousand, but over seven thousand. Uh, pretty pretty impressive. What uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, couldn't be happier to move, be moving across the universe at the right time. Uh, like Luke observed, I think we were expecting even a little more uh, based on some of our own numbers and exit polling, uh, but we're happy to to do what we did um i think we'll, you'll probably talk about this more and first i want to shout out i don't know if i actually am successfully on camera but i had a side quest this weekend to deliver some golden mickey mouse cards to the lorcana challenge that is the banner behind me so i'm sitting on the floor of a tcg show at to, to do this show but i wanted to say hi to everybody you never um, cease yeah, to surprise kazanir say again i say you never cease to surprise me <laughs> he's taking other calls now um discord was screwing up uh yeah it's it's always something there was a, a career that came actually from france to vegas and so i ended up here on a red eye it was quite exciting but i, I you know still want to talk csm right um I, I am delighted that we put in a bunch of work to try and get several other candidates on uh using our votes that were not nullsec players right you know not goon swarm and several of them did make it on in spite of us not having quite the numbers I had hoped for. But you did have very big first uh, first vote numbers. Uh, do check, uh, the first number, you know, is great. I can't say no to getting the most votes. I'm happy with that. But I'm particularly delighted that we're seeing people like Set Out, like Young Puke 2, uh, like like Drake it on, right? Young Puke and Drake both got CC picked uh, at the end. And I think that their feedback will just be great in particular to add on to what the NullSec blocks have to offer. So that's my my main commentary. Yeah, 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 thanks. We'll, we'll talk about the CCP picks in a second, but I want to go to Dujek real quick. Dujek, last year, heartbreak, right? You, I, you, you, you had 11, spot 11, I think, last year and, um, yeah. and just, just miss out. Uh, how happy are you to make it on now? I'm, I'm very happy. I'm also happy that everything that i've been working on for the last while kind of came to an end today because it's been a really busy week with uh, two at weekends and campaigning and going around asking people for votes and talking to people so like even if i were out at this point i'd probably not be as disappointed as i was last year Just so because i get to rest a bit <laughs> So um, you know, I know Kazanir calls it exit polling. Did you how 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 were you feeling about it? Were you um, were you sure you were gonna get in, or or were you very um, very uncertain? I I actually I spoke to Luke after one of our shared interviews slash shows um, on the last day of campaigning, and I was way less worried after I'd spoken to Luke about it than I was before. <laughs> but we are also seeing. We got fewer votes than last year, but we're doing move ups as well, and the move up effect is always uh, good to have. I I spent way more time campaigning this year. I've gone all over and talked to a lot of people, and I got on a lot of ballots that I was uh, particularly personally pleased about getting on because it's shared interests and uh, like my my favorite causes. Great. Yeah, I think uh, uh, we can we can call Luke the oracle of uh, of CSM since he, he claims to have picked it. I don't know if you can prove it, Luke, but uh, you you I, said I, you picked I, it completely. I I it largely played out how I thought. It, though, though I will say it played out in a very different order than what I expected. So I can't I can't attest to being completely correct on it. <laughs> All right, let's let's go to wormholes, Mick. Um, uh, I I put you on very high on my ballot because I I was hoping that the wormholders would get together and uh, and and unite behind one candidate. It it looked like they they did. What are your thoughts? Yeah, um, I think it's well. First off, it was a a huge sweat, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I hear you, man. Having yeah, have it this be like the the first time ever being involved in in something like this you know i don't really know what the uh recipe is for success right so i just went out and figured i would do exactly what i would want someone to do if they were you know supposedly going to be representing me right and 
Uh, I just went out and met with people. And I think uh, that really snowballed into me meeting someone and then they would say, oh, have you met with this group? And then that group would say, oh, have you met with this group? And it, it really just snowballed into meeting after meeting after meeting. You know, we ended up having, um, you know, just shy of about 30 meetings with different groups. And I, I like to think that that time put in and that data that we collected during those meetings was a big reason why it uh, seems like there was a lot of cohesiveness, if you will, um, towards the end there, but uh, still a sweat, still a sweat, but glad to be here and hoping that uh, we can bring some some good productive changes to wormholes over the next year. Yeah, great. Yeah, I, I think you, you, you it, it could be very easy for wormhole space to vote a candidate in because if, if they did all agree, then... Um... You know, then then you would have enough votes to get in there in, in the first round. But um, yeah, congratulations anyway. But are you uh, are you Mark Resurrectus two point oh, Mick, or or are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I I mean, I who who can fill out a bathroom as nicely as Mark can? Um, <laughs> no, I uh, Mark and I were we are good friends. Uh, if anyone was watching the AT stream, you saw the uh, the button. That he had on um shout out to mark for that thank you <laughs> but uh but you know we we have different levels of experience and um i think the biggest thing is while i, I wouldn't consider myself a 2.0 um i want the outreach that i have to be very similar if not better than his okay great what are you looking forward to the most mick uh <laughs> Honestly, just kind of figured out what's on the what's on the docket. Uh, I'm really hoping that there's some wormhole stuff out there, and if if there isn't, then uh, at least making sure that as updates are coming in and planned for the upcoming year, that wormholes don't become a uh, a foregone conclusion. Uh, as a, as a result, we could at least make sure that they have a seat at the table and some input about anything that may be coming up there. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll we'll see. But that's that's what I'm most looking forward to, just kind of seeing what uh, what what's planned. Yeah, we'll have some talk about uh, Blue Loot, Mick. But uh, uh, la la last year was probably yeah, a, bit, bit, <laughs> a bit more exciting. Let's than... talk about Blue Loot. We will. We, <laughs> we, 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 we will. Um, so before we go, I think, because I think what's on the docket, we can see a lot from the, from the CCP picks. I think they, they, they speak uh, a lot to that. But before we do that, um, uh, uh, Shines, I want to go to you because um, I'm, I'm sure you're... you're you're happy on the one hand that you got your um your candidate through uh, Ariel Rin is is through on a uh, on the on the init ticket and uh, the uh, uh, the ESI ticket for sure uh, are you um fully happy or are you a little bit happy and a little bit sad that it's over um it's a mixed bag i'm very happy that i'm leaving the CSN to be honest uh it is a lot of stress at the same time as trying to lead an alliance. And especially since May, it's eaten into my time more than anything. So I'm looking back. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to being able to play the game again, right? Um, but having said that, there are a lot of positives that I can take away from the CSM and my time on the CSM, especially getting to deal with the likes of the community team. Um, you know, other CCP devs like... Uh, the CCP Nomad, just to, to call it one specifically, uh, you know, and a bunch of other people as well. So there's a lot of really cool things about the CSM. There's a lot of really uncool things about the CSM, but uh, overall, I'm I'm uh, I'm glad to be to have been on it this year. I'm glad to be leaving, and I'm very happy that um, Ariel is getting well has gotten elected as well. So. Yeah, looking, looking, looking forward to that. We have only four people returning. We have uh, eight new people on the CSM. I don't, I don't know how that compares to the past, but I, I, I gotta think that this is, this is one of the biggest shifts in CM, CSM history, isn't it? Um, for for anyone to answer. Just double checking seventeen to eighteen. Yeah, yeah that I, was... I don't know for sure, but. I mean, I felt like we had a yeah, fair few new uh, people no, it's, from it's 17 six... to 18, and this is a ton. Mm. No, 16 to 17 is um, uh, seven people turned out. So the only survivors were Brisk, uh, Kenneth, and um, shoot her name. Uh, Arcia. Arcia, I will, yes. 
and Arcia only came in later because um, somebody dropped out, right? I think. No, that was uh, she came in later through sixteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, Pro God Legend dropped out, and Arcia. Pro God, was... yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Seventeen though. Okay, and CCP picking uh, Drake and Young Puke. Um, uh, uh, at least Young Puke is uh, is a faction war for low low sec player. Drake, I think, as well, right? So is that a? No, um, he's part fan through and through. He's part fan. Okay. Um, well, yeah, some changes needed there. I, uh, just just saying. I don't know if that's the changes that he wants, but um, uh, what do you guys think about the CCP picks? Anyone to answer? I'm personally very happy about Drake. We get along great. I care a lot about Potron, so he was already one of my top picks that I wanted to work with. I think, uh, for me, I think it, it, it certainly fills a hole, right, and rounds out a lot of the CSM. Like, the only thing that's really not on the CSM this year is probably that Nubro focus that people like Mike and Kashal brought last year. Um, well, that's my focus. No set, but... Yeah, I, I think we had a lot of uh, new... Uh, you know, I, I I don't know if the new bro community feels that way. I, I mean, if uh, or if Kashal and Mike think that way, but I think we've had a lot of focus on it with the completely new re revamped NPE and uh, with two of them on the CSM last year. So I feel like um, it's you know I'm sad to see them go, but I feel like it's it's okay in this uh, in 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 this kind of environment because I I think the focus is definitely not going to be on. NPE next year. So we're gonna see shift of uh, shift shift to low sec, shift to Parchven. What uh, I mean, this is probably for more for the newer ones that are not under NDA for, for things that are that are already being shared uh, today. But maybe uh, uh, Dujek, what are you what are you expecting um, from from this year? I was talking to Kashal about this some days ago, and she was saying that when she was picked, they went straight into talking about a bunch of nullsec stuff. So we have no idea what CCP's criterias are. It, like the A lot of the people they could have picked have either been on the CSM or might not fill it out quite as well. I think perhaps they want a broad input of new people regardless of what they're going to talk about. So I don't have a big reason to think that we're going to get another Potchfen focused expansion just because Drake got picked. He's just a great candidate regardless. Yeah. And, you know, uh, and, and possibly I think re regardless of whether I get, I don't think we're going to get a folk, uh, Potchfen focused expansion, no way. Um, uh, this this soon, but uh, I do think that you know there's a lot of economic implications that Patron has, for example, where um, you know I think a lot of discussions are going to be uh, to be to be had. Um, yeah, um, what uh, uh, what what do you think is it's it's going to to mean to have uh, so many new faces coming in? I mean, uh, uh, you know, dark, dark shines. You're you're going out. Is there something that that you want to say to the new guys uh, coming in? Um, good luck. <laughs> uh, no, like it's um, you. The CSM deals quite a lot with the community team, and uh, CCP has a fantastic community team. So uh, you're going to be working with. And talking a lot with um, with a, a group of people who are are very good at what they do, very experienced, and just enjoyable to work with. Um, I, I don't really know what else. Like it takes it takes a little little bit of getting used to. The summit is a big deal. For example, uh, everything before the summit is different to what happens after the summit. Like after the summit, join the summit, and after the summit. Uh, interactions in general between the CSM and CCP are, are like a hundred times better than what they are before the before the summit because uh, the summit's a great chance to for everyone to get familiar with each other, you know. Um what I will say for any CSM to be successful, at least in my eyes, uh is working together. Um if candidates can work together and present a united front, uh you'll get more done. So 
that would be my advice. Yeah, abs absolutely. Uh, 100%. I also think um, one, one thing that I would say to the, to the new guys coming in is um, you have to be really persistent is what I've, what I've learned. It, you have to get started as soon as possible with your messaging and you have to be persistent and, and hammered home every time because a lot of things, if you don't con continuously address them or follow up with them, uh, some things will just, you know, just fall off the table and, uh, uh, and, and you, you've, 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 if you want any, if you want any chance of your things, the ideas that you have, uh, making it into the game or the, your, your opinions to be heard, then you've got to be consistent and you've got to say it often and loud and to, to as many people as possible, I would say. Just kind of thinking and reflecting, and I've said this a couple of times on other streams um, for newbie, but you kind of have to come in with two different kind of mindsets. One, don't try and tell these people what to do. Like we're a, we're a focus group. That's the point of the CSM. Uh, as a as an engineer myself, it's an immediate way to get you ignored for the rest of the year. Um, and on Ozzy's point around being persistent, is being persistent, but also being persistent with data, because obviously everyone has their opinions of things, and you need to be able to back up those. Like if you want to be successful, it's bringing in data and backing up those opinions of why X, Y, or Z is a problem or a good thing or should be looked at. So I'll caveat on that a little is that um. Uh, you can sort of get CSP to do what you do, but it's very, very hard. Um, so there's a couple industry changes that I was able to get implemented pretty much exactly as suggested, but you need a lot of data. You need uh, a lot of, you need a very clear design uh, reason, and you need to ha already have a good report with the devs so that they trust you enough that uh, you, that they, that they, think what you do is a good idea but i'm going to say don't expect people to do that in the first three months of your term or even the first term because it takes um it takes uh, i i guess more the better part of a year just build up the report for the devs to trust you yeah absolutely uh in the last in csm 18 we had 50 percent of the csm coming from null sec it looks like we now instead of six of 12 we now have seven of 12 right seven seven of 12 so a little bit more null sec why do you why do you think that is angry uh null sec performs the best when turnout is low because they're the most organized and they have other than the horde the most consistent turnout um like frt had consistent turnout we had consistent turnout and and uh you know when the when there's low voter engagement, it's it's the high engagement voters who have more power, and that's what happened this year. What do you think happened to the horde uh, vote? I mean, do you think uh, the yeah, it's, the alcoholic they, Satan situation it, had something to do with it? Alcoholic Satan situation because uh, we can all see each other's pings, and horde just did not hurt as hard this year after the Satan thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for for everyone that's been living under the, under a rock, there was uh, basically alcoholic Satan was um, uh, ex excluded from the CSM uh, or was kicked off CSM eighteen and excluded from running again while he was campaigning, and so certainly that was a a, a blow um, to to PH in, in in that in that respect. But um, overall, um, they did get. Two candidates in, right? Um, we have Storm Delay coming back and uh, Kenneth Feld also coming back after uh, sitting out uh, one year. Uh, and then we have uh, Sadao, right? Who I who I don't know um, a lot of. Um, what are you guys uh, thinking about Sadao? He's a good FC. Uh, he's very active in what he does, but it worries me a little bit uh, because. If he has the same kind of personality as me, he's going to struggle on the CSM, I, I, just as an FC. So, uh, but I think he is, uh, he's probably going to add a lot of value to the CSM. His opinion is probably definitely worth listening to. Because you think he's going to get frustrated or because he, you think he doesn't, he's not going to have enough time to do both? Both. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Um, yeah. Any uh, uh, any any other thoughts? We have uh, we have very little very little high sec, right? And we have basically n no 
no no high sec left if uh, uh, if if you uh, if you count me as high sec then i'm the only one left pretty much what does what does that say about the game anyone i think high sec is very intertwined with new players i think that the people who are championing high sec being better or or worked over are also often wanting that to be for better engagement of new players who start out in the game and don't quit immediately or retention for people who have stepped into their first corp and want to continue that a bit before they go on to the areas of the game that are considered more skill intensive or more dangerous or whatever have you yeah yeah it's still still surprising though right i mean i don't know when when we had when we last had uh, a makeup like uh, like this with with almost almost none of them um making making it through um that's the exact opposite problem of what angry was talking about for the null mm -hmm. low engagement low organization is a problem for them yeah i feel like he ju sorry go ahead, go ahead. no go ahead, he just angry. released the ballot file in their uh, public thing in their post oh, and cool. what i find is that um Eiter, your voters are really lazy. They only vote for you and no one else. Um, that is, uh, I, I tear sorry, the sorry, guy that. So I'm, so I'm just looking at the list of things, and so Eiter's voters voted for him and no one else. Dalrose's voters voted for him and no one else. But yeah. Mick had decent uh, cross. Mick had decent cross voting, but it's not a lot. Like it seems that. A lot of the uh, people just independent candidates did not cross vote this this year. But there was like honestly, when I saw the first round of votes, uh, Iter's votes looked very fishy um, because, uh, like, I I don't know. It's it's one thousand two hundred fifty seven just for Iter. I mean, there are, like that's got like golden 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 says it in chat. There's got to be some few large uh, skill farms, right? I mean, I mean, and and, and this is coming from. Like I really liked his interview. I really liked him as an interview, uh, as a as a as a candidate. But I didn't know. I don't know where his votes would come from. Is there a yeah, lot? Is, is there a large I, I alliance? That, I, think, I think that's mostly vote buying because like independent candidates would would need cross votes the most, and I tear just didn't have any. Like yeah. nobody voted for him besides his one thousand two hundred fifty seven, and he's not on anyone else's. Yeah, because after round one, it looked like he he had a really good shot of getting in. He he got more more first place place votes than a lot of us. So yeah, so I guess yeah. it's just a waste of vote buying. <laughs> did you, uh, well, did you say that it's alleged, today? alleged, yeah. angry, alleged. Yeah, it, see if he did release it. Where did they release it? I'm just trying to find it. But... It's in the um, it's in the uh, it's on the forums actually. Oh, okay. Um. Even portal. Let me ask. Let me ask uh, Mick. Mick, um, you're coming in fresh faced. What are you know? What are, what are some what are some things that uh, now that you've been a, a voted in, you don't have to repeat whatever you said in your uh, in your in your campaign. But what's what's really what are one or two things that you wanna wanna tackle uh, jumping into the CSM? The biggest one that has been pretty consistent across the board regardless of what like class of wormhole space you live in from the interviews that i've had with folks has been we want some form of conflict driver that's an intermediate conflict driver the biggest issue that we've got right now is we're dealing with you know it's like ganks you know you roll a hole you get a gank uh you can get some small gang nano sometimes um you can have like arranged fights where you just hope that both sides agree upon a time and a you know type of fleet that they want to take against each other and then you've got like the full scale evictions right there's no real like intermediate reason for people to have a reason to attack someone and there's no real intermediate reason for ha for someone to defend it's either all or nothing um, I'd love to see something. I was kind of hoping that Moon Drills would be that because it's got the 24-hour timer, which is usually the lifespan of most wormholes. But uh, unfortunately, that's just not the case because R4 moons are trash, especially with how much gas is required now to run the drills. 
And so it's just not something that's worth attacking nor something worth defending. So uh, that would be my number one thing. Um, and then the other is that I've got a lot of is increase the bookmark folder limit. Obviously, as you can imagine, being in wormhole space, uh, we pretty much rely on bookmarks and bookmarks alone. We don't have the fortune of Ansiblexes or Stargates, all that fun stuff. So uh, if we could get that limit jumped up significantly to like, I don't know, 2000 or something like that, that would be very, very cool. But those are a couple of things that I'd love to see happen over the next year. That's that's really good to hear. I, I love to hear that. I um, and it's fitting that Varak is uh, is commenting there in chat because I I had this discussion with Varak about this. I the the number one th like I love. I've tried wormhole life about three or four times in my Eve career, and the one thing that I hate the most about wormholes is is the prearranged fights. That it's just like I hate that stuff, and I wish there was some conflict driver that would just naturally have a reason for for wormholes to to fight. Uh, and so I, I agree wholeheartedly with uh, with what you're saying. Yeah, natural escalation in wormhole space happens. Um, when I uh, was flying with some of these groups, because instead of having like formal meetings, groups would just invite me to come on roams or like come live in a hole, you know, for five hours and see what it's like living in a C2 high three, you know, wormhole. And we would have these conversations and I would see these fights, but with a natural escalation, it's pretty much just like, oh, we're going straight to Marauder. Like, <laughs> and if it's not, if one Marauder's not getting the job done, it's now five Marauders. And it's like, all right, well, uh, we can deal with that better than we could, like when we could in the past, but it's still uh, very difficult to like deal with that natural progression without just going straight to Marauder. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, look, looking forward to to tackling some of that stuff with you. Uh, hey, hey, Angry, you're you're the other, besides Shines, you're the other um, person that, that didn't run again um what uh what are some of your thoughts that you would like to give to the rest of the csm temper your expectations that's basically the most important one uh, especially for the hot shots who are new um don't burn don't, yourself out don't don't get your hopes up is that what you're saying no, I'm saying don't burn yourself out and end up quitting Eve because of the CSM. It's not. Uh, it's a. Uh, if you have to pick between the two, I'd pick Eve first. Yeah, absolutely. That's I. I th that was the biggest consideration for me of on whether whether I wanted to run again of whether I. I it, how, Eve is a little bit more fun, I think, if you're not on the CSM. It's, I mean, it's especially for me, but I think probably for most of for most of you, just because it 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 shifts the lever a little bit more towards work, right? So uh, it's a big responsibility, and uh, it's uh, it's an awesome experience, but it's it's also a little bit more, a little bit more work. So I I uh, I do envy you and uh, and shines um, just just a little bit. Um, who uh who are you surprised uh that didn't make it on like what what was your biggest surprise uh anyone for anyone to answer whoever wants to answer i guess for me i thought it was when we went into it or when i saw who i thought might uh, be running like i i'm used to seeing mike around and there was even a joke uh from my um CEO who was on the CSM that when he joined the CSM, despite Mike not being on that year, he was still in all the channels for the CSM. So the um, he's the yeah, admin he for the quiet. official CSM Discord. So uh, I don't, you know, <laughs> yeah. So I guess like that kind of explains it. Like he's been on the CSM on and off for as long as I've played the game. So. Like votes turning out how they did is not that surprising in hindsight, but before I thought maybe he had a chance. Yeah, it was very very low first round turnout for um for Mike compared to last year. I think I I uh, I don't know. I, Angry and Luke they they know these things uh by by heart. <laughs> I'm just bringing the data up now. One second. Uh, but someone will have to check what Mike was round one this time because I was I think it was uh, like Mike ran round one only had like like maybe 600 votes uh, or something. Round, round one this round one last year Mike was 2300 wow pretty strong right 
that is massive yeah, yeah. but you know uh, a, a lot a lot of us dropped a lot uh you know if you're not Kazany or luke i think um it was tough first round this year it was more consolidated uh in in in, in round one was it last year the same, Luke, that it was you and Casimir going through first? Uh, no, it was still... Um, no, it was... It, uh, it was Alf, uh, Alf Golic, uh Okay. Uh, so, Kaz and Alf went for on round one. I didn't go over quote round one. I went in, I think it was round 25, which was when, when Velenad from Fiel was excluded and got quite a large transfer from from him. Did Dujek really have one three three seven? First round yeah. votes, do Jack, dude. That is that is dope, man. I would I'll, I would put that, that as a on a file picture. <laughs> absolutely. And also uh put it on your on your on your wall, uh on a poster. I I wanna see that. Um Yeah, fantastic. But anyone else? Uh, who who else uh, were you surprised didn't didn't make it on? Anyone else? I don't really have much to say about the the candidates themselves, but I was very surprised to like I, to be honest when I seen the result first, um, like the first names that were called out. I thought that Horde had put you number one on their ballot as well, Luke, um, and that the trickle <laughs> down happened from like the the votes that Storm got were a trickle. But uh, yeah, I think yeah, that was it's not the case. The, I think that was the big surprise, right? And it probably explain some of the numbers because i think we said that we were expecting a higher goon turnout but there, there probably was it just didn't really influence the overall numbers because of the lower poor turnout so it kind of just flipped potentially uh, that was quite surprising to me i wonder what what was the difference this year and last year that changed the public vote rather than the null block vote though because i mean i can understand the null block vote been lower this year given equinox but the the public one was there anything I mean, i'm trying to think uh, where were we at expansion wise this time last year in terms of kind of engagement of people outside of nullsec that it had Verid was that about viridian that was that was um viridian yeah it was between viridian and uprising uprising was obviously quite a high kind of player acquisition players coming back i, think we, I don't remember, player, maybe. remember it was uh, uh no 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 the order was um, Uprising Viridian Havoc, I think, right? What well, it was, but what was point it? was the election? The yeah, election was point. wasn't it already in August? It was a lot earlier, right? Yeah, it was. It was. It was in. It was in early, early September. Canada. Yeah, because uh, they announced the winners at Fan Fest, which was uh, in end of September, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So voting started September fourth. Voting ended. And they voted in the 11th of September, and they announced it two days after, mid so it's mid-September. So I'm just bringing up the expansion list to see where that was. And Luke, chat is saying you're low on volume. Yeah, I can't, I, I can't make yeah. you any louder. I, I have, I have yeah, made I, Luke all the way. All he, Luke is over 10,000. Talking softly and just sitting back in my chair, I will try and <laughs> sit forward and be a bit more pronounced into my microphone. He already won the election. He doesn't need to put in any more work, guys. That's right. I think I think that's it. <laughs> it looks like it looks like the CSM eighteen election. Yeah, it was between Viridian and Hab. So I think you still had a, a huge number of people engaged from following on from Uprising and into Viridian, and maybe that just influence the public vote because the number of people from those other areas of space that were still playing whereas obviously since then we've had you know equinox or well, havoc through into equinox which obviously kind of reduced current play account i think that would that i mean that's my guess anyway The um, Mick, the other wormhole candidates, I, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but uh, uh, did anyone else get, get close or does it look like you, you succeeded at uniting very well? I, I was just looking at the yeah. first <laughs> round. Um, I have it up now. The, uh, I think the highest wormhole candidate outside of me was uh, Oris. It looks like Oris Victor Spear with 188. Yeah, and that's very um, low. 
that's very low. So you you got I mean, you 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 pretty much got probably 70-80% of the wormhole bull, yeah, right? That's pretty strong. Probably probably around there, yeah. I, I keep telling people, I'm like, you know, we obviously we're a small community, wormholes are, but you know, if we if we unite, you could you see like we can we have the ability to make things happen. It's just not uh it's not a guaranteed thing if we all kind of silo ourselves, right? So it definitely was a team effort. <laughs> and uh, one of you guys has to explain this to me. So Dal Ross, one thousand four hundred and ninety-one first round votes. Uh, what is what is that about? That's a lot of votes, but didn't make it in. Oh, that was uh, or that is, I guess, the, one of the leadership folks over at uh, Absolute Order. All right. Okay. I don't know anything about Absolute Order other than yeah. <laughs> what people have told me, uh, which uh, they've ranged anywhere from Scam Corp to uh, something else dramatic that I don't remember. So, right. Can't really comment on it. <laughs> I don't know anything about them. So I then they, they should have had even more first round votes. And... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's a pretty weak turnout then. Um, but okay, and then they they didn't have uh, any any trickle trickle down voting. Okay, and it's surprising. I mean, Kenneth Feld only got 174 first round votes, uh, but that's because the horde had uh, storm delay on number one, and then uh, Kenneth Feld on number two, presumably, right? I have, but those were their two top two candidates, right? Yes. Yeah. Kenneth was that top, yeah. So Kenneth was obviously would have been one for PL, but second for Horde. He was yep. second for Russ, so obviously he got his, and then he got a effectively a round two transfer of thirteen hundred, fifteen hundred from me. I can't remember the exact number, um, but obviously because fourteen hundred to Kenneth Fell round two. Fourteen hundred. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, which is interesting because of the lower turnout. I think if that transfer hadn't been a thing, Kenneth would have been no. knocked out. Uh, FRT2 was absolutely necessary for Kenneth Feld this year. He owes uh, Norris. Yeah. So, um, yeah. He owes, he owes you guys something. For sure. Um, cool. Uh, other than that, uh, who, uh, we had Mach Machagon. Um, I, know he's, I know he streams, so those 600 votes are probably because he's well known from his, from his streams. He also had some good, good interviews, so uh, good on him. Uh, Phantomite, uh, a very well-known player, only got 580. So that's probably because people, uh, low sec people, voted for other candidates in one and two, right? That's that's probably it. Anyone else? He's a he's a divisive character. Let's just put it that way. He's from low sec, but there's people in low sec who don't like him, and uh, yeah. Right, but he uh, he he was on the CSM before, right? He's uh, he's a he's a CSM he got on through yeah. a block transfer, so he was able to get a lot of blocks to use him as their as as their vote catcher, so to speak. So like after the block horse trade, you have a vote catching candidate, uh, and then he was the one that year, and that was how you got on. And then it never okay. happened again. And then interestingly, CCP picked uh, the spot number twenty, which. They also did last year, I think. I think wasn't Kashal number twenty, and like just just enough to make it in. She was, yeah. Kashal was twenty last year. Yeah, but this year I don't think they eliminated people that far. So let me check where Young Puke and. Uh... All right, they don't take first round. They take uh, uh, the the final twenty. That's right. So he wasn't he wasn't on uh, on, on place twenty in the, in the end. Probably I don't have that in front of me. They did show show it on stream. What did you guys think about uh, the 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 stream? I really I really liked that they went back to showing almost all the rounds like um, like like they had done the years before. I thought uh, on the stage at FanFest it was a little too quick. Like I think because it's it's it makes for really good content the STV uh, system. I think the math nerds. I think the numbers nerds. I like the people who like numbers 
really enjoy it and they want to see more and the people who tuned in for the alliance tournament and want to see only ships explode all the time <laughs> there was a lot of division in the chat between show us more why are we skipping rounds versus i came here to see bargists blow up and uh whatnot so the, the salt from chat was absolutely fantastic that was nearly as good as the at itself I um yeah I I had to I had to sit through like two rounds of fights uh to wait for for the CSM content so I I just could have made it a... oh sorry <laughs> I came for the numbers go ahead DJ. I think they could have made it in two minutes and people would complain it was too long and they could make it like three hours for us and we might think that there were more details they could have touched on I agree with Varag and Chad that they they should have just made it like a one hour separate stream uh, I think you know. Because, I mean, this way they got a lot more viewers. I think. I, I think at some point it was like seven or eight, nine k viewers on, on, on yeah. the election. So it was a big, big content. But also, um, was it was it announced like really publicly that it was going to be at uh, at eighteen hundred Eve time? Like, For where the was that announced? Who did the AT and yeah. to us, and we announced our people, presumably. Yeah, but I mean, they they didn't they didn't really. They didn't really make a big fuss about it, like in uh, in in various on various channels. But hey, um, cool. Anything else? Anything else you want to say? You you got to say to your your voters, your um, fellow CSM. Anything? Oh, I had a question. Actually, it's very random. Please, and it, and it could have already been answered. Um, angry? Why? Did you get term limited out, or did you choose not to go? For I have a health group? problem right now, so I chose not to run. That's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I remember the post about that. Um, apologies. Was it? Do you remember why Dark? Is no, it right? Shines? Is he term limited? No, Shines. Shines has had enough of the CSM. Okay. Nobody he, would have enjoyed. Did he go into any more detail, or is it uh... kind of? We will fill you in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Shine, shines, Fair shines. Enough. Uh, do you want to reiterate why why aren't you why aren't you running again? It would have been a bad time for everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll leave it. At, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> it's the most ominous answer yet. Okay. <laughs> cool. The good parts of CSM are are great. The bad parts are really bad. I'll put it that way. Okay. High highs and low lows. Yeah, yeah, and you're trying to run an alliance at the same time. Uh, it's uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't this. think you can underestimate just how much of a time commitment it actually is. Yeah, it's really easy to go. Oh, it's like a weekly meeting and stuff like that. But it, but there's a lot of time spent around that kind of working through it. Gotcha. And there's also that feeling of responsibility uh because you have an open line to ccp when you see stuff that is wrong in the game trying to like there is a there is at least for me and i'm sure a lot of the other csms as well there's a sense of responsibility of trying to fix this on behalf of well yourself and the game because you, you actually have that open line to ccp and when it uh when the bad like when it goes bad it's uh it sucks a lot Drake is sitting above, by the way. Drake, Drake, Drake. All right, there we go. Boom. Hi, Drake. Congratulations. Hello, guys. Thank you very much. Congratulations, you too. Uh, I I don't. Uh, if uh, are you are you uh, off on camera or off camera? You're off camera, right? Yeah. Perfect. Um, I can I can come on camera, but you'll probably no, get banned for breaching the terms of service of Twitch. <laughs> um. Uh yeah, uh, Drake, uh, c congrats. We're um uh, we're just about wrapping up, but uh, uh love to hear your your thoughts. Uh, what uh what do you think? Are you happy, relieved, um uh, scared? What's what's going through your head? A little bit of all of them, I think. Um probably hyped because I because I got on as one of the selections, that's pretty much a a good signal that CCP is going to be working hard on Poshman, which is ultimately what I want. <laughs> Um, I know quite a few of the people that are on CSM. There's a, three people that haven't interacted really, but everyone else 
and we've got a corner relationship. So I think it's going to be a very effective CSM, and I'm very hyped for it. Cool. Yeah. Are we um uh, are we going to be nerfing the income in in Pochven, or uh, what do you think? We definitely need an avenue for it not to be direct ISK injection at the bare minimum, so it can be <laughs> destroyed. Oh, that's because because Jesus Christ, it, Poshvin's effect on the inflation is probably quite easily measurable at this point. I'm so relieved to hear that from you. Um, yeah, no, the 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 region's been unhealthy for a long time, and it has been getting more more healthy. But more healthy doesn't mean healthy. So there's a lot of work still to be done. Very good, very good. Um, anyone, anyone else here want to want to say some some final words? You fed up. Done. All right. Um, I uh, will. I'm going to go uh, stream uh, economic content still uh, for the next hour as well. So um, everyone uh, um, can 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 stick around. I'm going to take a little five minute break to um, just grab a beer and uh, also uh, clean up the um, uh, the the streaming scenes here, and then uh, we'll be back in five minutes. I want to say uh, thank you to everyone that uh, that jumped in uh, and uh, and and stopped by. Congratulations to everyone that's new on the CSM. I'm I can't wait to to work with with all of you and um, Dark Shines. Uh, angry mustache it's been an absolute absolute honor and uh, pleasure working with you and getting to know you better so um thanks for everything you've done for the game i, I think that cannot be under understated you're both fantastic uh, csm members and and um, amazing uh, eve players and uh, and friends so uh, thank you thanks for having thanks us, for having us. Uh, maybe i'll be back i'll be yes. back yeah <laughs> You need my accent for that. All right. Um, uh, we're going to take a quick break and then uh, 